That's tomorrow. And that is it for us today. Cut. Bill, can you give us a preview of that Colas show that we have coming up this Friday? It's not right on a teleprompter. I don't know what that is. I've never seen that. Oh, sorry. Okay, my, my bad. Here, just read what's on the screen now. Yeah, right. now, I can't read it. There's no, there's no words on it. You're right, Bill. My bad, my bad. Here, just let me enlarge this for you. Here we go. Is that better? There we go. To play us out. What does that mean? To play us out. Bill, I don't know what you're talking about. It says NCA selections play out. What is... I don't know what that means, to play us out. What does that mean? Bill, it's not play us out, it's play out. NCA selections play out, not play us out. All right, go, go. Okay, five, four. That's tomorrow, Cut, and Bill. that is Sorry, it's not tomorrow, it's Friday, okay? Five, four. That's tomorrow, and that is it for us today, and we will Bill, leave you Bill, with you said a... tomorrow again, it's Friday. I can't Friday, do it. Bill, not tomorrow. We'll do it live. Bill, Bill, we can't do it live. That would be like six hours. We cannot do no. that. We'll do it live. F it. Do it live. I can, I'll write it and we'll do it live. Bill, Bill, why are you getting so angry? Don't you like the way the NCA selects our teams? F***ing thing sucks. Okay, I get it. That's your opinion, but we still got to do our job. We got to report the news. That's tomorrow, and that is it for us today. I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thanks again for watching. We'll leave you with Sting and a cut off his new album. Take it away. Why does he keep saying tomorrow and not Friday? Welcome back to Run Junkie, but more importantly, welcome Mr. Adam Ostrike to his first ever Run Junkie show. You see him on the side a couple times. Adam, Tell the people about yourself. Thank you, Gordon. My name is Adam Gregory Ostrike. I was born June 21st, 1988 in Bettendorf, Iowa. Uh, I've watched Run Junkie my entire life. I used to run cross country way back in the day and track and field sometimes. All right, Adam, TMI, TMI. Let's get down to business. It's cross country, regional action going down Friday. We're going to be live. Cola show. You can you dress up as a koala bear or something? I might. I might run out of koala bear uh, costume. I might be there. Stay tuned for that on Friday. As you know, we've been talking about all you know, Stanford's, Oregon's, Wisconsin's, all Providence, Georgetown's, all the big names throughout the season. We know the storylines, but every region has that storyline that people really aren't talking about. The under the radar, radar. storyline. So let's go region by region. Let's tag team this. You're first. I'm first. Mid-Atlantic, Mid it's going to be the Penn Quaker men. They have a chance to make NCAAs for the first time since 1975. Do the math, 15 plus 25 is? 30. 30 years. It's been a long time since the Penn made it. They beat Nova in a kind of a head-to-head -head duel meet in Princeton. So if they can get second, oh. if they can beat Nova, that, Nova, that'll be crazy. Look out, okay. led by Tommy Awad, who has the best stash in the game. Best I'm working game. on mine. Over in the Midwest, Illinois Ooh. is trying for the first time since 1986 to qualify for NCAA. How old are you then? I was negative two years old. Negative back in two years old in 1986. They Illinois, might. led by Dylan LaFond, a D2 transfer. They have all the points now. All thanks, points. thanks, Wisconsin. And they can get out of that Midwest region. But let's move over. Southeast. Southeast. Is it Talk my turn? It. Southeast. It. You got the bear, but ladies from Take Coastal off my Carolina. Socks. The Coastal Carolina Barefoot Ladies. Where are they from? Uh, South Australia? Africa. South Africa. Or Australia. Somewhere I think South Africa. They they made it last year. We can see them again. I certainly hope so. Northeast. Stony Brooks. Christina Milian. Ooh. Just as good as Lucy and Holland Van Dalen? Question mark? They got sixth and seventh in 2010, the, the Stony Brook ladies. And now there's this new one coming to rise five years later. Stony Brook. Stony Brook. That would be exciting. She won the Battle of Beantown. Kind of was a surprise. But yeah. look out for her. She's going to win that Northeast region going individually. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! On the west side. On the west side, obviously Pac-12 teams galore, but the main team to look out for is on the women's side, the Gonzaga women. They don't have any points. All they can do is beat Arizona State and they will go in based on projections. Gonzaga, you know how many times they've been to the NCAA championships? Zero. Exactly, zero times. This could be the first time. All they gotta do is beat the Arizona State uh, Sun, Devils. Sun Devils and they're Sun in. Devils. It's simple. You know what we haven't been talking about? Who do about? we have to talk about? The Utah women. Whoa, Utes. The Utes. They are vying for their first ever incident of labor. Lots of first ever. Not since 78, not since 65, ever. And how, ever. how will Utah get into the meet? They will be fellow Utah team, BYU. Battle of the Mormons. Battle of the Mormons. Boom. Boom. Nicely, now, nicely. Now, let's move up north, kind of in the Midwest area, to the Great Lakes. 
I love this guy. I love this guy, Mr. Akron's Clayton Murphy, the 800 meter specialist. He is in at large potential to get in individually after you take away all the teams. So Clayton Murphy, he's just getting in everything. He's getting everything. He gets goes to Worlds, and all of a sudden, he's been. Did he even take a break from I don't running? I think he did at all. I think he's just been running he since. Probably went on an autograph signing tour. And yeah. Now he's back at it in Akron. So Clayton uh, Murphy, look out for him. The, the Andrew Meter man might be going to NCAAs as an at-large qualifier. That'd be great. What about the South? And it's going on in the South, the, the dirty South. For the first time again. Another first in timer. In school history, the Mississippi State women could qualify for Ooh. NCAA championships. For the first time. Read by Renwed Price, who won the 1500 meters over Shelby Houlihan last year. And uh, yeah, Mississippi State. You don't think of them as a cross country yeah. program, but I mean, they're showing up. They're showing up. Showing up when it counts. I can't wait to meet all these teams for the first time at Instant Village. You're going? I'm You're going? going. First time you ever. Get, did you get your tickets? I got them. Oh, okay. Did, did, did you get the right flight? What time ooh, are you getting there? Ooh, ooh. Uh, I'm getting there Sunday. The South Central. Gordon, take it. Ooh, this could be a big, big one. The Texas men may not make NCAAs out of the South Central region because of another Texas team with A&M in their name. The Texas A&M Aggies could beat Texas, get that second auto spot, which would be a big shocker to the Texas Longhorns who are used to going there. And also, it will be a big shocker for teams that beat Texas at pre-nats and beat Texas at all the other meets because guess what? Texas doesn't get autoed. Your point that you, when you beat Texas means nothing. Out of here. You get nothing. And on sad news, but kind of expected news, Russia, they've been doping galore. Uh, they are what? on the verge of potentially being banned from the Olympics, which would be unprecedented. And uh, yeah, what are your thoughts on Russia? Just cheating, cheating crazy. Just get over it, Ivan Drago. Oh, get over it. But yeah, read all about it. It's, it's sad, it's crazy. But maybe it's a step in the right direction. Yeah. We just gotta eliminate country by country by country. By country. And then we have a and shot then to we maybe have, win. we finally have a shot yeah. to get our gold medals. You and me, one, two, right? Woo! What are we gonna run? Four by something, 50s. Four by 50? Four by 50. Four by 50, who's gonna be the other two legs? We'll There's only two it. of us. Do it. Both do it. All right, okay. We'll do it live, both of us. Perfect. You got your fix.